All right, welcome to our second day on factoring. Today what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to factor with rational exponents. I'm going to actually start with, uh, you know, an example over here on the right um, because I want to make sure that we understand the overall concept, okay? And when we're factoring with these rational exponents, we are going to factor out a GCF, okay? So let's say I had an x to the fifth minus an x cubed. Well, I hope you would see that x cubed is our GCF. And when we go to factor out the x cubed, well, x to the fifth, take away an x cubed, leaves us x squared, and then we're left with minus 1. All right, so the idea that I want you to understand is that how did I get my x squared? Well, I subtracted a 3 from when I factored out the x cubed. Okay, and so that's how I got my exponent of 2. So keep that in mind, because that's going to be the, the uh, overall concept. All right, so in example 1, uh, you can see that they uh, both terms have the 2x minus 1 in parentheses. So we are going to factor out as our GCF 2x minus 1. Then, in terms of the exponent, I'm going to factor out the smaller of the 2. In that case, I'm going to factor out the negative one-half power. What that leaves behind from our first term, it looks like, is just plain old x. And what uh, is left behind from the second one is a plus, and we're still going to have a 2x minus 1 here. And how many are we going to have? Well, remember I said that when you factor out, you're subtracting. So we're subtracting a negative one-half which means that we're actually going to be adding a one-half power, and so therefore we're left with a 2 here when we factored out a 2x minus 1 uh, to the negative one-half. And think about that. If we're taking out a negative, that means something's actually going to be going up. And so our 3 halves become 4 halves or 2. Now, what we just simply want to do is, let's see if we can just simplify this parentheses because there's a lot going on here. So we've got our GCF of 2x minus 1 to the negative 1 half power. And then in our parentheses, we've got an x. And we should probably FOIL this out. Okay, If you need to, uh, remember you can write it twice if it helps. Okay, And so now we've got an x plus 4x squared minus 2x minus 2x plus 1. Okay, And then we still have our GCF to the negative one-half power, and then when we're done, we've got 2x minus 1 to the negative one-half power, and then in the second parentheses, it looks like we have a 4x squared, looks like we have minus 3x when we combine all of our x's together, and then plus 1. And that's our overall answer. So we factored out a GCF of 2x minus 1 to the negative one-half power. And again, big idea, remember when we're factoring out, we're actually subtracting the exponents because we're dividing. All right, since this is new, we'll uh, try another example. Okay, this one's actually going to be a little easier. All right, so I can see here that uh, I have x's in both. And it looks like uh, the 1 half power is going to be the smaller of the two. So I'm going to factor out x to the 1 half power. That's my GCF. And when I do that, well, x to the 1 half, take away x to the 1 half, leaves me with 1. And then minus, well, if I am taking out a 1 half, that means I'm subtracting a 1 half. And so 5 halves minus 1 half is 4 halves, or x squared. Okay, And uh, it looks like, if I were to take uh, a look at this, this is the difference of two squares, which means that I can factor this to x to the 1 half power, and then 1 minus x, and 1 plus x. And so there, uh, that's what I have after factoring that one up. All right, time to uh, stop the video and see if you can do example 3 on your own. All right, I haven't done this in a while. I don't think I've done it since the first video. I'm going to throw out another trivia question. So if you could write the answer, the correct answer, uh, in the upper right-hand corner of the note sheet here, okay, you need to answer the question, what is the only state 
in the United States that only borders one other state? What is the only state in the United States that borders only one other state? If you can come up with the answer to that, put it in the upper right-hand corner. All right, in example three here, okay, uh, looks like I've got a GCF of x plus 2, okay, and the 3 halves is the smaller of the 2. So I'm going to factor out a GCF of x plus 2 to the 3 halves power. That means that I am left with, well, 7 halves take away 3 halves would be 4 halves or x uh, plus 2 squared. So I've got an x plus 2 quantity squared. And then if I take all of this out, I'm left with minus 1. Okay, like I did in example 1, what we should probably think about doing is, you know, maybe foiling this out. So let's do an x plus 2 to the 3 halves power. And if we foil this out, we get an x squared plus 4x uh, plus 4 minus 1. And if I simplify, I've got an x plus 2 to the 3 halves power, and then x squared plus 4x plus 3. All right, and that's our final answer. All right, there is one last example just to make sure that we... Uh, Really do a good job with this on the next page. All right, this is a little bit like the first example. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to take out a GCF of it looks like an x plus 2. So we're going to have an x plus 2. The negative 1 third is the smaller of the two, so I'm going to take out a negative 1 third. What that leaves behind is if I take all of this away is just a plain old 3x. And then, it, remember, I am taking away a negative 1 third, which means that I'm actually adding a 1 third, which means that I really am left with a uh, plus 4 parentheses x plus 2 to the 3 thirds, or 1 power. Okay, which means I have x plus 2 to the negative 1 third. And if I combine like terms, I got 4x and 3x becoming 7x. And then 4 times 2 is 8. And that's my final answer. All right, please come with questions, and we can always start class with an example or two if there's something that you're not understanding.